Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at the different runway markings. Runway markings. The markings on a runway provide crucial information to pilots during takeoff, landing, and during taxiing. These markings give information regarding a runway's dimensions, orientation, and hazards. Runway markings are a part of the airport markings. Airport markings refer to lines, symbols, and colors on runways, taxiways, aprons, and other areas in an airport. Depending on the type of approach that is available at an airport, the runway would have distinct markings. The approaches are classified as visual approach, non-precision instrument approach, and a precision instrument approach. The runway marking elements will increase when we go from a visual runway to a non-precision instrument runway to a precision instrument runway. So first, let's look at the markings on a visual runway. Runway markings for a visual runway. These runways are marked with a dash center line and runway identification number. Runway identification number or runway designators are numbers which mention the magnetic direction towards which the runway is pointing. These numbers are rounded to the nearest 10. Runway center line markings. These are white dashed lines running down the middle of the runway. This is used for aligning the aircraft on the center of the runway during takeoff and landing. These are the dimensions of the white stripe and the gap between the stripes. Runway markings for a non-precision runway. In addition to these markings, a non-precision runway will also have aiming point and threshold markings. Aiming point markers consist of two thick white stripes on each side of the center line. These markers are used as a target on the runway for descending towards the runway during landing. Runway threshold markings. The runway threshold is used to identify the start of the runway. The threshold markings may consist of eight identical stripes placed symmetrically on the runway or it may consist of a few stripes. The number of stripes is related to the runway width as mentioned here. Runway markings for a precision instrument runway. In addition to these markings, a precision instrument runway will also have touchdown zone and side stripes. The touchdown zone markings are thin white stripes which identify the touchdown zone for landing. The stripes have a spacing of 500 feet. These markings consist of a group of one, two, and three stripes on both sides of the runway center line. Runway side stripe markings. These are solid white lines that mark the edge of the runway. This is to easily identify the width of the runway. On visual runways and non-precision runways, depending on the length of the runway, the type of aircraft, and the type of operations that are performed, some additional runway markings, like the ones in precision approach runway, will also be available. These are the commonly found runway markings for the different types of approaches. In addition to these, there may be some additional markings on the runway depending on the airport. We will look at the additional markings in a different video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.